welcome to the Fin Nation podcast, where we wholeheartedly believe women entrepreneurs are leaders that rise together. Success does not have a definition. There are no secret strategies. Women entrepreneurs are rewriting history by defining success on their own terms. Hi, I'm your host, White Gannon, the down-to-earth chick with a different name. Each week, join me for inspiring stories and powerful interviews of women entrepreneurs sharing their lessons to success to help you take your business to the next level. Now, let's go for it. Welcome back to Fim Nation. I'm so excited to be with you guys here today. It's been a while since I've done a solo episode and there's been a lot of things. And I know that a lot of things, I'm putting air quotes around that, is for a lot of people, right? We have gone through just a, an interesting, to put it kindly, last couple of years. And so that's why I'm going to go ahead and lean into this podcast on transformation. I wrote a post, oh, I'd say a couple of weeks ago, a week and a half, two weeks ago. And it had to do with transformation. And in this post, I did a side-by-side comparison. And and it's an obvious visual transformation, right? And in the visual transformation side of it, I wanted to make perfectly clear that while I was putting up two different images of me, it had nothing to do with weight loss. But I'm going to expand a little bit on that particular post uh, specifically. And I'll link the post directly into the show notes for you so you can see what I'm talking about and, and go directly to that post itself. But in the post, it said, full transparency, this is not about weight loss. Here's the thing though. I want to give you an idea and some context around that image, the side-by-side view. One is of me in July 2019. Second one is of me in November 2021. And there is a, a tremendous transformation. One, yes, I am proud of. But two, it didn't come the way I, that I had expected it. Not in a bad way, but in almost a released way. Here's the thing. Weight loss had the kicker to do with this, but I wasn't seeking that transformation in the weight loss itself. In fact, the reason that I even had the physical transformation was because I spent $47 and truth be told, I lost 50 pounds. It was one of the best moments, but it wasn't, it was one of the best moments of realization that I had lost, that I've lost and maintained a 50 pound weight loss, right? And it's not, it wasn't overnight. It was over the last couple of years, obviously between the two pictures, but the July, 2019 picture was probably my heaviest non-pregnancy weight. I'm not going to share details, not necessary, but it was not intentional. I did not go into it then with trying to lose 50 pounds or trying to do anything. In fact, that July 2019 version of me had gone through all of the processes necessary for body positivity. Maybe this is who I am. I couldn't shake it. I had tried, 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 tried a million different diet plans. And I say diet plans because they truly were diet plans. I knew going into them that they were not sustainable. And in knowing that they were not sustainable, I would have some results, but none of them, not working out six days a week, not, not lifting weights instead of doing cardio, not trying to focus on cardio, but I can't do cardio because I have a, a heart murmur that prevents me from actually being able to do it. It's truthfully a diagnosis that I've had, but I have done very, very, very strict food eating. I've done strict dieting. I've done strict, you know, I've done particular food groups on particular days. I've done intermittent fasting. I've done all of those things. And again, I'm giving you some context around this and you'll see where this goes because most of my listeners are women. And inside of that, we all have struggled with uh, how we view ourselves. That July, 2019 version of me, no matter what I did, I chose not to step on a scale for several years. I chose not to work out anymore. I chose not to regulate my food, not to bother myself with when I'm eating. And yes, that contributed to getting to the point of the weight that I was at at that, at that moment. And the only reason I know what my weight was July 2019 is because in August, 
is actually when I started the transformation, I just didn't know that was a transformation I was going to be going through. Uh, That was the moment that I paid the $47 to learn something different. That's the story I'm talking about. So in doing this, I, in July of 2019, I went ahead and did a branding shoot and she was so, so good and saying, do this now. You want to have this documentation. Don't wait until tomorrow or when you feel like you're looking ultimately yourself or your best day yet, don't do that because you're going to hinder yourself and not being able to look back. And I, I am so grateful and so thankful for her inspiration to just do it, even if I wasn't feeling like the person looking back at me and in, in, from the images was really me. And ladies, you know what I'm talking about. There's just a point, no matter how much love you give yourself and how much acceptance you give yourself and how, how deeply you work towards being able to accept you know, to, to own where you're at at the moment. At some point, there's a version of you that you don't feel kin to. And that was who I honestly felt. I, I felt like I was inside of me and I didn't understand how that worked because I tried everything for 10 years. I had tried you know, and I could not get to the bottom of it. I even went and had thyroid testing because I thought, okay, certainly everything I've done, all the things I'm doing has either contributed to an issue or is because of the issue. And blood work came back and my doctor told me, she said, I wish all my patients had blood work that looked like this. And I was like, really? Okay. So then I don't know what my problem is. I'm not going to say what the actual answer is because I cannot define that for you. I cannot define that even for myself. What I can say is that I went on a journey of discovery, but I went on a journey of truly allowing myself to be free, to be in the journey and be on the journey and to disassociate with trying to come up with an end result. Yes. Did I pick an end weight? I sure did. And in fact, this time around, I was like, I'm going to pick a scary one. I've never been able to get back down to since high school. And by golly, I ended up getting to it. Funny thing that how that works, right? Here's the thing. A couple of things I had to do. I had to, I had to own the situation. I had to own who I was and I had to own being okay with that on a regular basis. Even when I started seeing a transformation happen, you know, that first five pounds, that first 10 pounds. But what I also did and what this this one particular program, not sharing details, I'm not sharing names, guys, because this is not a pitch or an opportunity for me to try to say that that is a solution for you. We can discuss that on a different time, or you can reach out to me privately and ask me. And I'm happy to tell you because they've done amazing. This, this is an amazing program, but I can't say that that's the answer for you. Side note. But on this program, I wanted to not feel out of breath when I bent over to tie my shoes. I didn't want to feel the rolls on my stomach. I didn't want those. I, I just didn't want those. And I'm not saying they're bad. I just, I felt uncomfortable. And the first thing was, is that I had to weigh myself every single day. I didn't like that because that put the obvious in my face, but the obvious was not the number. It was the fact that I was married to what that number meant in my mind. That number was scary. That number was fat. That number was ugly. That number walked like a giant. That number, you know, pounded on the floor, you know, like flat footed it everywhere. That number couldn't wear the high heels I wanted. That number had inflammation. That number had water weight. It had all of those things, guys. All of those things. That number was tied to all of those things. And by having to do it for 30 days, I only committed to 30 days by having to look at that number every morning and just document. I detached from what that number in my mind was attached to, and it just became a point of reference. And that's exactly what I needed is to let go of everything that I had been indoctrinated with and had learned over the course of time that that number represented. It didn't represent that. I also had to let go that just getting down from that number or those numbers or whatever was holding me captive in that moment in my mind, getting down from that was progress. That wasn't the same progress. Taking somebody's cookie cutter diet 
that they were saying works miracles and maybe worked miracles for a million other people and didn't do a darn thing for me was not it. What was it is that I had to break free inside of all of the preconditioning and learning is preconditioning that I had given myself to the person I was in July of 2019 to that, that last month of that person, because in August is when I shifted. I didn't know what was on the other side of 30 days. Started mid-August. I had no idea. No clue. Not know what was on the other side of that. But I wasn't trying to be skinny or look a certain way or uh, to make something happen. I just learned to get up, follow my process every morning, and then carry on with the rest of the requirements in order for me to put my body in a healthy state. That was all I was doing. I was no longer dieting. I was no longer taking someone's methodology and following it cookie cutter. I was no longer working out every day because that's what anybody that has any progress does. I was no longer busting myself to accept what I knew innately wasn't me. And that was okay. All of those things were okay. And I couldn't even self-talk myself into it, guys. Here's the thing. It was a journey of self-discovery. And I can say that over the last two years, from that point, from the two years between those pictures, roughly, is that it was a self-discovery point of really shedding a lot of things, literally and figuratively, about myself, about what I thought, and testing the water here, testing the water there, finding myself in moments, finding what hap- what happiness is and where I can feel confident and what confidence is. And I will straight up tell you that there are still days where I'm just like, oh, this works for this person. I need to do it. I'll tell you right now, social media is full of it, full of it. You scroll any of the platforms And you will see that somebody else is telling you that the route to success is X, Y, Z. They've got the holy grail of solutions. Yeah, X might work and a piece of Z might be where I'm going, but the rest of it isn't. And so in discovering who I am, in discovering the transformed version of myself, in finding a new pattern, a new rhythm, and a new opportunity for myself to be okay where I'm at as I progress through it. In doing that, I was able to take what I needed and move forward with those pieces and then leave what didn't work and what I don't want. And intuitively speaking for each one of us, so we can take the parts, the pieces, and we can put them together and we can make them be who we are. And we can find that uniqueness inside of it. And and while so many people strive so hard to be a version of something that inspires them out there, the way that you find that peace and success and ultimately that transformation is by taking makes sense and resonate with you and discarding the rest because we're on a journey to evolve and learn, learn and evolve. We're going to, but in this process, Just because we learn it doesn't mean we have to buy into it, accept it, or even do it that way. We can learn what we want to discard. And that, my friends, that is a transformation. So I love that this topic was inspired by not wanting to highlight the obvious because there's more to it. And there's more to all of our transformations than just the obvious. There's a deeper component to it. So when you think back, when you look at things, when you find what actually makes sense for you and what pieces of all of the things that you've learned make sense and embrace those and you can put them together and honestly say, I'm moving forward with what I know to be right and true in this very moment. Can you change that later? Yes, you're going to continue to transform and evolve. Nothing wrong with that. But where you are today, what you stand for today, 
the change that you want to bring to the world or the change that you show the world is where you are today. And that's fine. But you can unequivocally stand in that and know that that is your gospel truth because you walked it. That's what makes you you. That's what makes you unique. That's what builds confidence. That's what allows you the freedom to set boundaries because a no is a no because you say it's a no. A yes is a yes because you say it's a yes. And there are times when we push ourselves a little bit. That's part of transformation. But when we push ourselves and we we move out of comfort in order to grow, there's a difference between that transformation and not shifting at all, not learning at all, but you can grow out of your comfort zone by testing things. But you can also say that that wasn't the test that you were looking for. I'll talk about the other later about staying in your comfort zone. We'll pick that up as a topic some other time, but guys, thank you for literally hanging out with me and listening to a little bit more context behind that post. There's only so much I can put into words, but I think you all know if you follow my social media channels, you know, I do like to write. So that being said, I encourage you to look at your own transformation. And if you're not happy with where it's at at the moment, you have the freedom to pick and choose the pieces that make sense to you for where you are today and move forward with them and put it together in a way that, that ultimately is empowering for you and discard the rest for future use or no use at all. Until then, Keep moving forward. Thanks for listening to the Femination Podcast. If you'd like to continue the conversation, have a no BS place to ask your business questions and connect with like-minded women entrepreneurs, join the Fem community, our free group on Facebook. And don't forget to check out the next 21 day challenge at www.becomeunstoppablechallenge.com. Let's crack the door to what's possible when you begin leading yourself first. If you love this show, subscribe and share it with a friend. If this episode impacted you, it would mean the world to me if you left a review so others know what's possible by listening. I'm already looking forward to the next episode with you.